Hi everyone, I'm Shadow K and welcome to Bewitched. It's a new indie visual novel horror game that was released on Itch.io. I'm excited to play it. So, with that being said, uh, let's start a new game. Warning, this game contains violence, mild gore, missions of suicide, missions of self-harm, killing and death. Viewer discretion. Discretion is advised. Yeah, I'm, I'm old. I can do it. <laughs> When I grew up, the folklore surrounding our neighboring forest was always filled with such intrigue. Oh, what some of us would give to enter that endless maze of trees, bushes, and a fog so thick it tricks your eyes. Not many children were allowed to go in by themselves, and many legends we heard helped deter us from the woods. One of the most prominent ones Claimed that any living creature that found themselves lost within the forest was destined to die. This urban legend was only really used by parents to scare kids out of going into the woods on their own, but there have been real reports of people going missing inside these woods, never to be seen again. Okay. What drew the kids into these woods in the first place? The answer is surprisingly another urban legend. Rumor has it that a powerful witch lives deep, deep within the forest, hidden amongst the trees and wildlife. She is said to have the power to bring one's deepest desires to fruition. By the way, the game is super loud. I hope it's gonna be okay with by the with the editing, because sometimes my editing software sucks up. Uh, what cat wouldn't dream of endless riches, popularity, or success, or even I don't know. Uh, 200 subscribers on YouTube. As I don't know, that's powers. <laughs> Your deepest desires were awfully promising. However, getting lost while trying to find the witch and succumbing, succumbing to the forest's other legend, the thought was terrifying. As I grew up, my fear of these woods grew less and less. I'm not afraid of what lies beyond these trees anymore. How old am I now? What lies beyond? There are many paths to avoid this fate, yet some seem to lead in circles. Or just bring you nowhere. It's infuriating when you're trying to get to one place only to be back where you started. Yeah, that I would I was so that sucks ass. That rumor. It echoed in my mind as I wandered aimlessly for what seemed to be hours. My legs were growing weak from the bumpy path I walked on. I am calm, I am fine, everything will be fine. I am very chill now as well. I'm actually recording this before I go to sleep. <laughs> Despite saying these things to myself, I noticed my hands were shaking. My hands are sweaty. I'm eating your mom's spaghetti. I was lost, lost deep, deep into the woods. Damn these winding paths. Choosing to heave my legs, request for rest. I sat down against a tree nearby. Cold thick air felt almost refreshing as I sat there. Over time, my eyes beckoned for rest as well, and I comply with their demands. My vision slowly fades to black. There's nothing better than having a nap under a tree, trust me. Ah, unless there are like ants, ants that are gonna bite your ass. Hello, hello, are you alright there? I hear a feminine. Oh, feminine. Nice. I already called it. <laughs> Voice called out to me. My eyes still closed. I felt a sharp pain in my head. A headache? My body felt in a different position from where I last lifted. I could feel the cool grass beneath my head, but I don't remember lying down. <clears throat> yeah, it's called sleeping. I opened my eyes to finally greet a mysterious, the mysterious voice. Oh, you're okay. Thank goodness. I'm sorry to get worried. I'm gonna give her a British voice. I'm gonna try a British accent. I don't care. The girl with bright pink hair and even brighter disposition met my gaze. She was hovering over my body, kneeling next to me. Her smile felt warm and comforting. She emanated the smell of freshly baked bread and strawberries. The more I thought, the worse the pain in my head became. Ow. I groaned in pain, slowly gathering the strength to stand up once more. Oh, careful there. 
<laughs> let me help you. Okay, it's not working. I'm not gonna give a shake set anymore. <laughs> I suck at this. The girl held onto my arm and supported me as I stood up. My legs still ached and my head hurt. But nothing bad seemed to happen to me. Right. There will be no chance of those cell legends being true, right? <laughs> yes, she's not the witch, right? I looked over at her, noticing her fancy attire. What an odd girl! What is she doing out in the forest dressed like this? Yeah. Weird, huh? She's definitely not a witch. I suppose I shouldn't judge her so harshly. Her dress is cute, and she did just help me after all. Yeah, she's gonna eat my liver, probably. Thank you. Who are you? Oh, my name is Strawberry. I run a bakery, not too far from me. Yeah, kid's bakery, probably. What's your name, Frank? Oh, now we're friends, huh? Just met me. I'm Cheryl K. A banana in a hay. Uh, how do I... Sure. <laughs> My name is Cheryl K. Okay. It's nice to meet you. But did you say your name was Strawberry? <laughs> yeah, my name is Strawberry because I'm the Strawberry Witch, silly. Of course you are. Regardless, it's nice to meet you, Cheryl K. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Do, you. do you also enjoy watching my videos? Some of them are nice, some of them are trash. You just have to pick. What? Did she just say which? She didn't appear to be the more spiritual kind. She looked more like riding broomsticks, making potions, that kind of witch. Or perhaps she was the witch that I heard in Legends all these years ago? Nah, yeah, probably. Golly, you look really worn out. Say, how about you come and rest in my bakery for a while while I bake your liver? You must be thirsty. I can get you something lovely to drink. On the house. Probably the blood of your half sister that died here. Oh, sorry, went missing. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sure, why not? That might seem strange, but God, I was thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> not gonna comment on that. I had no idea how long I've been out here. Something to drink sounds so good right now. The love that came from my inner child wanting to believe she was a witch from the legends persuaded me even more. The reason I came to this forest could always wait a little longer. Besides, she didn't seem like a threatening type of person. Yeah, that's what a psychopath usually is. They don't seem threatening, but you give them your back and then you get stabbed. Thank you, I would love that. But first, do you have any weapons on you? Can you tell me more about what you mean by a witch like you? Oh, silly me. You probably don't have people like me where you're from. Yeah, I'm from reality. I'm a strawberry witch. My magic is centered around strawberries, plants, and all things sweet. I use my magic to make lovely treats in hopes of making people smile. I highly doubt that. So, no broomsticks? Not granting someone's greatest desire either, huh? Her answer was a little disappointing. Too disappointing in my opinion. Still, I couldn't help but feel that there was something greater beneath the surface. A psychopath. Huh? No, no, no. What if I suppose I could make a strawberry fly if I worked hard on it? Yeah, this girl was harmless at least. Uh, I don't know, look at his eyes. Mm. She's, she's weird though. The witch enthusiastically <laughs> led me through the winding paths of the forest. She appeared as though she knew every tree, bush, and rock like the back of her hand. As we walked, one question lingered in my mind. Why would you build a bakery in a supposedly cursed forest? Yeah. Surely it must be bad business. It's not a business, dude. She's eating children set up shop out where people are too scared to go. Maybe that's where her witchy magic kicked in, perhaps. 
She has her own reasons that I simply can't see it. Yeah, like running away from the law. I tried to rationalize answers to each question that kept invading my head. My thoughts kept me so preoccupied that it was frankly a shock to me when we had arrived at the location. What the fuck? <laughs> Strawberry Witch Bakery. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do some Hansel and Gretel kind of shit. The half strawberry led me to appear to be made entirely of cake, with a sugary frosting on top of a candy scented rooftop. It looked delectable. Yeah. The appearance would be any child's greatest dream, a very creative, imaginative child with a particularly sweet tooth, that is. Was it real? It's all felt like an entirely different world. It was almost as if I had stepped foot into a fairy tale. Yeah, hands on grill. Someone's gonna be eaten. Uh, walking through fields of strawberry bushes and closer to the house, I could see a sign that read Strawberry Witch's Bakery. Yeah, I can see that too. Ta da! Here we are! What do you think of the exterior, Sugar Cake? It took me so long to perfect my magic in order to make everything this cute. Uh, it's very strange. It was just plain freaky. It seems deceptively cutesy, and something about this whole situation just wasn't sitting right in my stomach. Yeah. Maybe this was all a bad dream? It would explain the fantastical setting. No? Pain in my legs and head solidified the fact that this wasn't a dream. Just what was really going on here? I'm gonna get eaten, that's what's going on. It's very strange. I said out loud mostly in response to the situation. This made Strawberry frown. Obviously she was hoping for more please answer. Yeah, sorry. Honesty is best policy. Your place is trash. It sucks. Trash. I don't feel bad, even if she did work hard on all of this. Strawberry Witch's gimmick was starting to freak me out. Fairly. Doubts in my head began surfacing. But the trustworthiness of this girl. Yeah, I don't trust her at all. Um, uh, that's okay. Everyone has different tastes, I suppose. Some people don't like burned limbs. Some people like them rare. I don't know. I like them the way you are. <laughs> She tried to answer politely, but I could tell from her shaky voice my words hurt her. Eh, I'm not too worried. Here, yeah, regardless, you should dress inside. The witch guided me inside. The overpowering smell of sugar filled my nostrils with every step closer. A warm rush of air brushed past my face upon entering the door of the bakery. The smell of fresh baked goods welcomed me further into the house. It was obviously apparent the strawberry theme uh, resonated inside the building as well. Everything from the bright lights to the chairs, even the rug was shaped in a strawberry pattern. Yeah, you. I think you have a problem, lady. The wall separating the front counter from the seating area is also made out of strawberries. Sucks. I didn't think they could grow vertically. Yeah, they don't. They don't. No, I'm certain with the way they appeared on the wall, it shouldn't be possible. Frankly, I wasn't sure whether to be impressed or concerned about what I was getting myself into. Concerned. Croissants, cakes, cookies, and more stuck to shelves. Many shapes and sizes. They all made my mouth water. Surprising, not all of the baked goods my host has displayed were made of strawberries. It's good to have some variety, I suppose. Yeah, sure. There's some bread, I guess. Can I, can I get you something to drink? I quite recommend our strawberry milk. Uh oh. Or our strawberry lemonade. Those are the best. Ah, so much for variety, huh? Only strawberry drinks? Sucks. 
this guy, this guy was kind of funny. The extreme theming. Uh, I, 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 I would get a lemonade. Uh, can I have some strawberry lemonade? Also, strawberry lemonade sounded not only sweet but refreshing. Exactly. I could really use that after such a long walk through the forest. Why was I in the forest? Yes, of course. Go make yourself coffee, Shanky. I'll be right back. It does, strawberry. Pass into the kitchen, humming a soft tune as she left. Took a moment to observe the room a bit closer before sitting down, and my guess landed on the spiral staircase in the corner of the room. Vines of strawberries draped themselves gently around the hand railing. Ripe and fresh as all the strawberries. I looked up curiously to see where the stairs may lead. In the corner of my eye, I could spot what seemed to be a bed. So she lived here as well. It's a bit odd to have a circus to your room right in the middle of your bakery. Because no one alive gets inside, dummy. I could hear the humming getting closer. She must almost be back by now. Wanted to avoid looking like a snoop. I took a seat. She joined me shortly after sitting across from me. Dear God, you must be thirsty. She said, sitting down my drink of choice in front of me. I took a sip almost immediately. The good refreshing taste of the strawberry lemonade immediately regenerated some lost energy I had. So when, is, when does the horror start? When are, when are you gonna try to stab me? Huh? 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 I think all innocent and shit. You think I believe that? I don't buy it for a second. Thank you. This was awfully kind of you. Oh, don't mention it. I live to serve. I'm gonna give her the, the psycho voice. She's a psycho, probably. She laughed mel melodically, saying the live to serve bit in an almost goofy, overly fancy voice. Live to serve. Just please let me know if you need anything, okay, Shay? Okay, anything at all. She smiled at me. Her voice sounded genuinely concerned. It was, admittedly, nice to feel someone so worried about me. Yeah. I wasn't used to the feeling. Okay. A conversation slowly melted into silence. I should probably think of something to say. Uh. Why do you live here? Live out here all alone, huh? Where are the other people that you killed? Where do you keep them? In the basement? So, why exactly do you live out here all on your own? Uh, one thing led to another, and an opportunity came up, and I couldn't refuse. Truthfully, I don't like being by myself at all. It gets really quiet out here. <laughs> <laughs> you could feel the loneliness through her words alone. It was pitiful. She didn't exactly answer my question fully though. I was itching to know more. What opportunity? Yeah. A lot of children going inside here, huh? Eating them? Why? My bakery, of course. What else would this be? Not to the children that roam aimlessly in the forest. They end up here. Well, I choose them for your lemonade. <laughs> That's another thing that I've been curious about. So why exactly do you choose to build a bakery here? It doesn't seem like it attracts many people. Especially with all of the rumors about the forest. Poor decision if you ask my opinion. Yeah, the worst ever if you weren't a psychopath. My questions came spilling out of my mouth along with my internal thoughts. Every time I had opened... Uh, sorry, I had hoped to clear up some suspicion, I was always brought with more questions. This time I wanted answers. You do know about the legends of this forest, correct? It would be shocking if you didn't know. What legends? I don't know what you're talking about. Either you're a liar or just incredibly stupid. Uh, the first one. I didn't believe Strawberry for a second. How could she not know the rumors? Anyone who lives anywhere near these woods hears about them in even passing jokes. 
It's especially shocking for a self-proclaimed witch to not know the urban legend about the witch who lived deep in the woods. Surely someone must have told her, right? I guess I'll be the one that does so. There are many stories surrounding this forest. Too many to count, however, two rumors I think you should know if you really insist on being ignorant. Survey sat there silently, silently sorry, as I continued to tell her the urban legends. The first one is about a supposed witch that lives in the depths of the fo these forests. Legend states that she has the power to bring anyone's deepest desires into reality. Which eyes lit up for a second at the mention of that story, so it was familiar to her. The second one says that anyone who becomes lost within these woods is destined to die. Me. Well, that's silly. I've gotten lost in these woods plenty of times, and I'm okay, cause I don't want to kill the others. You also got lost, and here you are, still standing, and <laughs> so far. Well, of course, I don't believe in that one, however, a lot of people do. It just seems suspicious that you haven't heard what chose to build a bakery here. I really haven't heard of that, but the first one, uh, I think that might be about me. <laughs> Although I'm not exactly good at granting wishes yet, I'm still learning. So, it was her after all. Yeah, when is she gonna try to stab me? I don't trust her. I thought you might be. The conversation got awkwardly quiet once more. Dead bodies, dead bodies, where are the dead bodies, huh? 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 Strawberry, huh? Where, where are you hiding the dead bodies? Up? That's not all it though, I'll admit, it's a little strange, but I've been working on a magic that can bring things to life in a whole new way. Oh my gosh, is she creating Frankenstein's, like, reanimating the dead? Cool. Oh, uh, uh, it's actually a bit more embarrassing than that. Here, this actually reminds me, I, I have a present for you. That's awfully nice. Sarah burst through her voice as she spoke, abruptly standing up from her seat. Wait right here! Okay. Okay, this seems to be built up for something spooky, I hope so. She ran off, leaving me alone to question what was happening. A present for me? But why? Once again, she had just met me. I didn't understand the reason for her kindness. Yeah! Looks like she's planning it. Strawberry came back with a small pink box wrapped in a light green ribbon. Flopping down in front of me, she gave me an excited smile. Go on, open it, it's for you. What's in the box? Recently I opened the gift box to reveal. Is this a plushie? No. It looks like a rabbit. It's a bonbon. Bon. <gasps> Uh, and now, silly, that's straw bunny. They're a mix of a bunny and a strawberry. One of my recent creations with live magic. Interesting. Eat it. Uh, I'm not gonna eat something, I don't know. I'm not gonna eat a rabbit. Except the gift, I guess. Thanks. Sure. Oh, hi, little buddy. I smiled warmly and hit the straw bunny's head with one finger. They're awfully adorable, huh? Thank you, strawberry. I'll take good care of them. Strawberry looked happier than ever after seeing me and her straw bunny getting along. You better take good care of them, Shelly. I'm trusting you. I think my cat is meowing.
All right, let's go on. Uh, <laughs> uh, I like you so much already. Thanks, Joe Bunny. Curled up nicely within my hand, making themselves comfortable. It was so tiny, I was afraid of accidentally crushing or hurting them. Hey, it's okay. This is the unrelated part. But hypothetically, you could wish for anything. <laughs> what would you wish for? I paused for a moment. My wish? My greatest desire. Uh, it, it's something I can only accomplish on my own. I wouldn't ask that of you. The laughter expression fell. The disappointment in her eyes was immeasurable. So I really should get going. Here, I really appreciate it, but you should probably keep the little buddy here. The straw bunny clung onto my thumb, but I managed to pry them off and sat them down on the table. A sad smile arose on my face. I was going to miss both of them, but I knew I shouldn't stay. Wait, 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 it's dangerous out in the woods at this time. Why not stay for the night? I have an extra. I cut her off before she could finish speaking. No, really, I need to go. I have something I came out here to do. I'm awfully sorry. Oh, please, don't, don't go, I, I didn't eat you again yet. <laughs> Thank you again for everything, Strawberry. Bye. Yeah, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Let's hope we never see each other again. Don't kill me, please. I got out of my seat and made my way to the exit. <laughs> Suddenly, I felt something hard hit me. Right in the back of the head, knocking me out instantly. Yep, here it comes. She has a baseball bat. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. She's a psycho. Oh, my head. Why is it always a pain in my head? Yeah. She beat the fuck out of me with something. Waking myself up, I noticed I wasn't in the bakery anymore. I was looking right at a bed, a room covered with strawberry. Despite not being inside of the bakery, this room smelled greatly of freshly baked bread and strawberries. This had to be strawberry's room, no doubt in my mind. Even more alarming, however, was the large vines were wrapped tightly around my entire body. Vines with strawberries. Okay, she's into some bondage shit. What the fuck is going on here? But why would Strawberry do this to me? Cause she's hungry. God damn it! That's what I get for trusting a stranger. I didn't! I didn't trust her! Is she going to kill me? Or would she use me for some weird magic stuff I didn't understand? Yeah, the second one. All I know was I had to escape. I had to get out of here. Before she came back to get me. I struggled against the vines, only barely managing to pry one of my hands out of its fruit-scented grasp. That's when I heard a familiar voice, sorry, a familiar sound come from the stairs. <laughs> Is it was a human. This this bunny was a human. She she's turning them into fucking bunnies. I whispered as they waddled closer to where I was tied up. Any chance you could help me out of this? Tiny strawberry bunny looked around from side to side, observing the room. I watched them as they hopped up into the nightstand and used their tiny hands to push over a basket. The crash of the basket wasn't that loud, thankfully. Two items caught my attention that were within reach of my free hand. I only had time to use one. I had to think fast. Okay, I'm getting a choice. Strawberry diary gardening shears. Oh. I'm getting out of here. I want to I wanna know more about the lore, but... It's time to get the shears. The gardening shears were the obvious choice for my escape. I grabbed them without hesitation and started cutting each vine until I could warm my way out. <laughs> Shh, come on, little buddy. Without thinking, I scooped the straw bunny into my arms and carefully snuck down the spiral staircase. With each step, I feared more 
for what could happen if I got caught. I still didn't know why Strawberry had knocked me out. She could be planning anything. Yeah. Shiraza wasn't going to stick around to see what she had planned. Creeping down into my main bakery, a million thoughts of panic rushed through my mind. In the distance, I could hear the soft humming of my capture. Captor. It appeared to be coming from the kitchen. I tipped out through the bakery to the door, my heart beat increasing in speed. I froze in place upon opening the door, forgetting that these types of stores have bells attached to their doors. The humming in the distance stopped in an instant. RUN! RUN, MOTHERFUCKER! I didn't have time to be careful anymore. I bolted through the door and into the woods. Running through the field of strawberries, I with the glass behind me for a moment. Yep. Now she has a knife. The sight I saw was certainly less than pleasant. Those eyes of hers, they looked unlike anything I've ever seen. She looked like a true monster. Because she is. Shit, okay. You can die, shit, okay. Uh. Sure. She chased after me as I ran through the trees. I tried to lose her within the winding paths of the forest. I can't go to Strawberry Strob for dear life. The sweat that emanated from my palms didn't help, however. Strawberry <coughs> cried out, losing grip on my hand themselves. The poor creature managed to slip out of my hands, running far, far behind me into a bush. I stopped for a moment to try and recollect them, but fear coursed through my veins upon hearing footsteps getting closer and closer. How is she so insanely fast? I was It was terrifying. I was being chased by someone with abilities I didn't even understand. I'm so sorry, little buddy. Yep. Everyone for themselves. If there's a knife, I'm sorry. I whispered it for running like my life depended on it, which it did. My well, love did depend on it, exactly, it did. My legs were still sore from earlier, but I had to push through. I couldn't let her catch me. Not like this. At one point, I had run so much I was certain I had lost her. I looked behind me once more to be sure. I felt relieved for a moment, but that relief was short-lived as I felt my feet stumble over a rock. Immediately knocking me unconscious, I slammed my head against the dirt path. God damn it, again. How many times am I gonna get unconscious in this game? This is the third time. Hello? Hello? Are you right there? Ending 4 out of 5 to loop. Okay. Uh, God damn it, I don't have any load, so I can't load. Huh. Okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna go through all the endings, but we're gonna talk about it. So give me a second and... Okay, I was skipping 
because I wanted to see that diary and now I only have one choice to eat the bunnies I guess I'm gonna eat it and it's still skipping no no fuck god damn it god damn it I don't know where is it so strawberry burn Practically opening every drawer and the cupboard inside the kitchen, looking for something desperately. She even opened the massively sized oven, looking inside of it. Ah, oh, tell me, what would it be in the oven? The closer closer as she continued her search. Strawberry, what's wrong? Uh, stay back, please! Tears were streaming down her face. She looked as if she had witnessed the murder. I'm not sure what I did, but I'm sorry. How could you do that to a living, breathing creature? I trusted you. I'm not sure I understand what you mean, strawberries are meant to be eaten. To which expression suddenly became all blank. No, or shocked. He was most appropriate here. It's just a snack, right? Honestly, they were delicious. You should consider selling those in the bakery. I've never had anything more delectable in my life. I was caught off guard mid-sentence when Strawberry grabbed the side of my arms. She was strong, much, much stronger than she looked. Her grip was hurting me. Strawberry? I'm fine you and she began pushing me, backing me into a corner. With one giant push, she threw me into the oven. Yep, her oven. Yep. Fire scorched my skin immediately, putting my body into a complex shock. I could smell my flesh burning off of me. Soon I would be nothing but a burnt corpse. So I got to get... To get out. Get out of the oven. Get out of the fire. Everything was so hot. So unbearably hot. I screamed into... Exterior yeah, pain. As the fire consumed me more and more. Slowly. Strawberry closed the oven. Haha. <laughs> uh, she is a witch. Wicked witch. Okay. Gotcha. So we got now two endings. Uh, I don't know. I, I think we gotta go for a third one and then we're gonna end the video. <laughs>
All right, I'm gonna save here because I'm scared that I'm gonna keep skipping. We're gonna choose a strawberry diary. I grabbed the diary without thinking. Something in my gut told me that there would be some sort of information, some sort of answer, something at all would help me to make sense of all of this. With my single hand, I began flipping through the pages. Strawberry's diary, day one. I finally did it. I proved myself enough with my magic to be sent on a special mission. It told me that I'm finally ready to fulfill my purpose, finally to make good impact on the world. I'm bringing this diary with me to fill out all the fun adventures. Apparently, I'm being sent to some sort of pocket dimension. They said it'll be just me for a while, but I know how to garden and bake, so at least food won't be an issue. I asked them what the purpose of the pocket dimension was, and they said that people with great desires often find themselves lost in forests like these. They get sent here, and my job is to help them fulfill their true desires. I'm not sure how good I'll be at fulfilling desires, I'm just strawberry witch after all. But I won't let anyone down, I want to fulfill my purpose no matter what. I bring a few books about wish granting to study upon. I could really use any help I can get. I'm sure I'll find some way to help others, right? Day 5 I absolutely love my little bakery. So far no one has come yet, but I search every edge of this pocket world just in case. Pretty often. I admit I'm getting a little anxious out here all by myself. I really hope that these people desire sweet treats. Haha. <laughs> They never did tell me what's supposed to happen after I help the people. I guess I just wander back into the forest and find their way out? I don't know, I'm sure I'll update this more if I find an answer. Day 16. Someone finally came, a girl, a kind and pretty girl. She and I talked in my bakery for a while and I gave her absolutely every treat her heart desired. It was so lovely talking to another person after such a long, long time. I'm really going to miss her. She went back into the woods just now. I offered to let her stay longer, but she said she couldn't. She looked exasperated and despondent. There was a complicated look in her eyes I didn't quite understand. I hope I helped her. I did everything correctly, right? Day 17. Oh my god. Oh god. The girl, she... Why? I found her by the lake. She had... Oh god. She drowned. She's not alive anymore. Here one moment turned to absolutely nothing but an empty shelf the next. What? What do I do? They didn't prepare me for this. <clears throat> Day 20. I'm starting to feel a little bit better after all this. I'm sure it was an accident, right? I did everything I could. <clears throat> I just need to look forward. Tomorrow is another day and I'm going to help many people. I say hear the girl's voice sometimes. I only talk to her once, but I miss her dearly. <clears throat> what happens if I can't help anyone? It's my job, my true purpose. I'm supposed to help these people fulfill their desires. I just have to keep trying. Day 42. Why? Why does this keep happening? We're really starting to freak out here. Three new people have come and gone. None of them stayed for long. All of them... <clears throat> I found all of them. All of their bodies decaying in different places, in different ways. One of them stabbed himself so many times it felt impossible to count. The stench of blood sank so much into the dirt, I can still smell it sometimes, walking past that area. Besides, the girl in the lake, I met another girl, equally kind, but found her body covered in so many cuts and scars. She bled out far <coughs> before I had the chance to get to her. The other hang hung themselves, I still remember seeing their Silhouette through the trees. It was a horrifying sight. Even more disturbing was how their bodies swung side to side with each gentle breeze. There's no one else out there. This wasn't just any mistake. This was on purpose. I'm gonna throw up. Day 89. I haven't been able to help anyone, not a single person. It runs up the same way, no matter what I do or what I give them. The people always leave. They always. This pocket dimension. They send me to a suicide forest. Everyone's greatest desire is to die. I found the most recent customer's suicide note to prove it. 
saying exactly how they all wanted in this world was to die. Oh fuck. Okay, now we're getting the deep fucking lore. Jesus. I've worked on trying to practice magic outside of my expertise. I haven't had luck yet, but I'm getting desperate. Something, anything to make them stay. Anything to keep them alive and out of the forest. Day 136. Is it? Is it all my fault? I keep trying hard and harder to make staying more appealing to them. To make being alive more attractive. I mean, just for one more day. Nothing works. Am I destined to be a failure of a witch? I keep studying up more and more on wish granting. However, it's so difficult to get clear grasp on. This is nothing like growing strawberries. It's so lonely out here in the forest. I started making small creatures. I still have someone to talk to, who I won't find dead the following day. I tried just making bunnies, but my magic is still... I just have to keep trying. Day... Question mark. I'm so tired. I lost track of all the days. It's been so long since I last even rode in here. For a while, I couldn't bear to even leave my baker. I was terrified of something horrible happening. Scared of seeing something terrible. I feel terrified every day of waking up and seeing someone new, someone I cared about, gone from this world. It is true that every person that steps foot into this bakery I care about. I keep thinking that maybe if I just try harder, if I'm nicer, if I give them anything they want, possibly things will be different. Maybe they'll stay, but maybe I'm just being selfish here. Do I want them to stay because I want them to stay alive, or do I want them to stay because of non-desperation? I haven't been able to save a single person. I don't think I'm good at, of a person anymore myself. If I was a good person, things would be different. I would be able to prevent this all. But I can't. I can't do anything right. It all feels so out of my control. My mental state is worsening by the day. I don't know how much longer I can take this. I'm getting desperate. Okay, now it's gonna happen. Page after that was ripped out. I closed the book. I had read enough. So that's why I'm in the predicament. Some relief overcame me as I realized she wasn't out for blood. It seemed like the exact opposite. She was trying to prevent another death. Even if her methods of doing so were flawed. My deepest desire. My reason for coming here. Ah, uh, here he is. Here, 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 here he is. He's gonna say it. She was right. Despite what I might have said in the past, I I got lost in the forest on purpose. I had full intentions of ending my life from the moment I stepped into the pocket, this pocket dimension. I've always clung onto these superstitions subconsciously. They always brought me back to childhood. Back to a time when things were easier. Now everything was a mess, everything felt so hopeless, so out of my control. Strawberry's words in her diary, they resonated with me deeply. I can't put her through this again, no matter what I feel about my worthless life, she doesn't deserve to see another corpse. I gently put the book down for a second, I heard humming coming from the spiral staircase. Strawberry? Wah, 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 wah. Help, yeah, you're awake. Strawberry, you're here too. Who are you? Golly, I'm awfully sorry about all of this. I just kind of panicked and um. Well, I, did, I didn't want you to get hurt out there, so I um. Uh, I didn't really think this through. Strawberry, it's okay. Do you think you can undo these vines? Well, I would really love to do that for you, Shelby, but I. Uh, I can't risk you leaving out in the forest. Please understand, it's not safe out there. I have no intentions of going to the forest. So I looked a, little, a bit taken aback by my response. Huh? But, but I, I thought you... Forgive me, but I read your diary while you were gone. Hey? I... You've been truly kind to me, Strawberry. You've done nothing but show your kindness to others. But the world has only shut you out. I know how that feels. Strawberry looked down at the floor as I spoke. You've forgotten how to be kind to yourself though. Other people's lives aren't your responsibility. 
And I hate those assholes who put you here, knowing this would happen to you. Why are you saying this to me? I should be saying this to you. You came to the forest for a reason, but you've done nothing. You've got to be kind to me and this is your money. You're even trying to comfort me now when I did horrible things to you. You started to tear up. You're so much more kind than you will ever know. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve any of this. I might not know much about you, but whatever happened in your life to bring you to this place, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for making you stay. Strawberry so lifted her hand. And as she did, the vines retracted and let me loose from their grip. I stood up and pulled Strawberry into a tight hug. Who knows the last time either of us had had one. But we both needed one. No, cute. Awesome. I felt her shakily hug me back, crying into my shoulder. I'm not going anywhere. I think, I think I'd like to stay for a while, if that's okay. No, I, I shouldn't force you to. You're not forcing me to. I want to. It's understandable, though, if you'd rather I not. No! I mean, I'm a no. I really would love to, to, to have you stay here for as long as you desire, if this is um, what you desire. I smiled and pulled away from the hug, strawberry slowly calming down and wiping tears away from her face. What I desire. I think what I desire now is the company of someone like Strawberry, someone who understands, maybe bit by bit things could get better for the both of us. At least for now, we wouldn't have to be alone. Nah, that's awesome. Ah, uh, Shinke, you're going to eat all of the decorations. Probably. It had been quite a while since I moved in with Strawberry and the straw bunnies. I can't exactly remember how long though. Since doing so, I've noticed her mood greatly improving. She taught me how to bake in garden, and for me, taught her about folklore and superstitions of different cultures. I've even watched her magic blossom and improve. She can grant small wishes with ease now. I've seen people come and go throughout the bakery. Some of them didn't have the happiest of endings. But we keep trying. Strawberry at least doesn't have to carry the burden alone. And she's doing a better job of not taking responsibility for it either. She has hope that one day things will be different. I'll admit, her optimism has really rubbed off on me. Hello, the show okay? Dozing off again? <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Well, hey, if you're that worried about me eating too many strawberries, then you should stop growing such tasty ones. She laughed her sweet, melodical laugh. Um, I'm glad you like them, just make sure we have uh, enough to de decorate all the these cakes, okay? Alright, I suppose so. Life wasn't going to get any easier. I still think about why I originally came here from time to time, but slowly... I think things will be okay. Things will be okay for the both of us. I think 5 out of 5 good end. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Alright. Let's talk about it. Berry Witch. Oof. Um, my first impression was... I, I, I wasn't liking it at the start. But I, I always loved the playing innocent. But something is very sinister in the background is happening. So at first I thought that she was the evil thing. Just like eating children. And she killed me. She killed me once. And the loop, I think that's what they meant by the pocket dimension is that when I ran away without actually dying, I came back to the loop. I think. I, I, I don't understand that ending, why it happened, why did I loop. But yeah, I like the other two endings. I like the one when she killed me and I like the one when we had the good ending and we learned a little bit more about strawberry and why she's here hmm very interesting but since it's touching the theme of suicide i have to say this 
not because of a YouTube channel and all that shit. I'm saying this because I personally believe in what I'm saying and all, all that I'm saying is life could be shit, life could be really hard at some point and don't be afraid to do as strawberry and reach out to people and yeah reach out to people try to find uh, try to find help if you're having this kind of thoughts and this kind of doubts because it could be awful for you to keep that in your head for yourself and it will burst at some point and will bring you problems mentally and physically and it, it could worsen your situation so it's there's no shame in admitting that you have a problem and this kind of thoughts and seeking help and I think we all should take care of our mental health as much as we do to our physical health yeah yeah I, I really hope that everyone this is the end of the video, so I really just hope that everyone stays safe and they're taking care of themselves, take care of themselves mentally and physically. And let's all help each other and love each other and all that shit because the world is really a shitty place and we have to do that for each other. That's how we make the, the world a less shittier place. Yeah. With that being said, just like your parents tell you, and like Strawberry tells you, and even Cheryl K tells you. Shoot for the stars, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.